Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss about electroplating. How to electroplate one metal over another? For that we have taken a glass and this is water with copper sulphate. You see here we have taken this this is copper sulphate here you see this is our copper sulphate the formula for copper sulphate is CuSO4 this is copper sulphate right now we will show you electroplating of copper over another metal for that we need cell two cells and they are connected in series this is 1.5 volt this is 1.5 volt that means total is 3 volt right and this is the wire you see this is the wire connecting wires we have taken a copper you see here this is copper and I have joined this copper with the positive terminal. Since I joined this copper with the positive terminal, it is anode, right? And I have taken another thing that is a blade and I connected it to the negative terminal of the battery. See here negative terminal. The positive terminal we have taken a copper that is it is a positive plate and negative terminal we have connected with a blade that is the negative terminal right. Now we will dip this both anode and cathode in copper sulfate solution. See this one is copper sulfate solution right. You see this one is copper sulfate solution. Now, with the help of this cardboard, you see here, we have taken a cardboard also and I fix this cardboard with the anode, with this anode and this cathode and if I dip the anode and cathode in copper sulphate solution, Let's see what happens. Right? Now, I will dip this in the copper sulphate solution and see what happens. Let us see. I am dipping this copper sulphate, this anode and cathode in copper sulphate solution. And let's see what happens. I have dipped this copper in copper sulphate solution. We have dipped the copper and the blade, and we will wait for some time to see what is happening. We are trying to electroplate the copper on this cathode. The positive terminal is known as cathode, and the negative terminal is known as the positive terminal is anode and the negative terminal we have joined is the cathode. Now let's see in copper sulphate solution what happens to this. This is our copper and this is our blade. We have to wait for some time to see.
the reactions Now see, after half an hour, what is the result? First of all, what we have taken, we explain it in detail. I already told, told you that this is copper sulphate. The formula for copper sulphate is CuSO4. So you see, this is copper sulphate. Here you see, this is copper sulphate, right? Here you see, these are copper sulphate. You see here, these crystals are copper sulphate, right? Now, what we have done, we have taken a glass of water and mixed the copper sulphate and made a solution of copper sulphate. Here you see, and the solution is blue in color, right? After that, what we have taken? We have taken a two cell, right? The red color where is positive terminal and the black color where is the negative terminal. I have taken this positive terminal and attach a copper metal with it. You see this is copper, right? I take a copper metal and attach it to the positive terminal that means this electrode is anode that means the anode is is the positive terminal right that means this copper electrode is anode and we have taken another thing that is a blade right that is the blade and you see Copper is deposited on this blade by the process of electrolysis. Here you see this one. That means copper is melted and deposited on the blade by the process of electrolysis and this process is known as electroplating. That means electroplating is a method by which one metal is coated over another metal by the process of electrolysis. Here you can see that this copper metal is melted and is deposited over the blade. That means it is a process of electroplating. Why electroplating is used? Electroplating is generally used to make it beautiful, to make it Corrosive protective and make it protection from corrosion. Also, it is make durable. These are the various properties or various uses of electrolysis. In this method, in the process of electrolysis, electroplating is done. The metal which you want to Electroplate on the other, the pure metal should be put as anode, it should be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And the other metal on which the electroplating electroplate is done, that is taken as cathode, which we connect with the negative terminal of the battery. Right? Now you see that this blade, this one, you see, the copper is melted and deposited on this blade. You see, all the copper is melted and deposited in the blade. 
This process is known as electroplating. And what are the uses of electroplating? The most important use of electroplating is to make the metal durable, to make the metal looks good and also it protects from corrosion also. Right? Dear friends, in this way you can make this experiment. Again I am explaining what we have taken. We have taken copper sulphate, we have taken a glass of water and put the copper sulphate in the water to make copper sulphate solution. After that we have taken a copper plate and connect it with a positive terminal of the battery or cell and make it the anode and we have taken another you can take another metal also we have taken a blade and we have take we have connected, connected it to the negative terminal of the battery and put it in the solution after half an hour or after one hour you will see that electroplating is done on the plate. That means the copper is melted and deposited on the plate. You see here, after half an hour, we see that the melted copper is deposited in the plate and this process is known as electroplating. And this process is known as, you see here, the copper is deposited on the plate. See clearly, the copper is deposited. If you put this process for one hour, and the whole blade will be deposited with copper. We have shown just an example or sample how to do electroplating. In this way, you can make electroplating with the help of copper sulfate solution with a copper plate and any other metal like iron or any other thing. You think it right to coat that metal. Here you see, the anode is melted and deposited on the cathode, right? Anode is melting and deposited on the cathode. But you have to remember that there is no change in the concentration of the solution because the amount of copper deposited, the amount of ion goes to the solution and deposited on the other cathode. In the cathode also, same ion is goes to the solution. That means there is no change in the concentration of the solution. Right? Dear friends, if you want to make this electroplating process, you have to make in this way. And we have already discussed why we do electroplating. We do electroplating to make the metal durable, looks good and also it protects it from corrosion. Dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you everybody for watching this video.